Hello, today I want to share with you how to take full advantage of our weapon types and our burst cooldowns and maximize your DPS using rune management. I know that this may sound a little basic, but when I'm looking around, I'm seeing a whole lot of frost DKs making a whole lot of mistakes and it just is killing their damage. So today we're going to fix all of that. First, we have to talk a little bit about the basics. That way I know that everybody is on the same page. Resource management is the most important part of playing a Death Knight regardless of spec. It's the foundation that directly determines your DPS and how smooth your character is going to play. And by smooth, I mean, are you going to hit dead zones, those times when you have no runes or runic power to really spend and do anything, so you're just stuck being an auto attack Andy like you're a rep paladin in WoW Classic. In order to master the skill, first you gotta understand how runes actually regenerate. So runes regenerate at three at a time over about seven seconds, and this is adjusted dependent on various different things, but primarily your haste and your talents. Every second that a fourth, fifth, or sixth rune past three is not on cooldown, well, that means you are leaving damage on the table. On the runic power side, it has the exact same problem. Every single point of runic power that you accumulate over 100 is wasted damage, wasted potential, and wasted rune regeneration. It's important to understand that with frost DKs, and DKs in general, but with frost DKs specifically, spending runic power gives you runes back, spending runes gives you runic power. It is a cycle. And if that cycle gets interrupted, or if you perform your rotation in an inefficient way, then the cycle doesn't work as intended. With all this being said, the first thing you can do, the first trick you can learn to make sure you're doing the maximum amount of damage that you possibly can is to first make sure that you're always using your resources as fast as possible. It's absolutely imperative that you are spending those runes and spending that runic power and using those procs of rhyme as fast as you possibly can to get the most effect out of your runes, out of your runic power, and out of the regeneration for your runes. Now that we all understand the basics, let's talk about how we can use resource management to pull this off quickly, efficiently, effectively, and with a strategy. Now, the way that you can use this to actually increase your DPS is to first understand the difference between runic power dumping and runic power weaving, and why you should use them and when to use them. Runic power dumping is the oldest trick in the book, and it's the most common way that you see people play Frost DK today. It was the way that I originally was taught to play Frost DK all the way back in Wrath of the Lich King. This involves using Obliterate until all of your runes are gone, or until you have reached around 90 runic power because you don't want to hit 100, that means you've capped out and you could have wasted a few points. And then you dump all that runic power into Frost Strikes. Once you've ran out of runic power, then you go back to using Obliterate and you rinse and repeat over and over again. This is why it's called dumping, because you're dumping all of your runic power all at once. Runic weaving is when you either randomly or methodically insert frost strikes into your rotation. And what this generally looks like is you might do obliterate, obliterate, frost strike, obliterate, frost strike, obliterate. Or you might do some random thing where you do three obliterates, two frost strikes, two obliterates, and one frost strike. Knowing when to weave your runic power into your rotation and when to dump your runic power is an extremely important point, and it has a huge effect on how much damage you do inside and outside of burst for various reasons. Essentially, what you're doing by weaving your runic power spending abilities into your obliterate-focused rotation is that you are proccing your runic corruption more often. And what this means is you get a more steady return of runes and you get a more steady rotation, basically. You don't find yourself hitting dead zones quite as often. Dumping is much more prone to dead zones because you're consolidating all of your runic empowerment procs all into one window. But dumping can be better for getting quick burst out. It's good for especially dual wield frost DKs who get that extra buff on that frost damage because obliterates physical damage isn't hitting for quite as hard. So because of that, dumping as a dual wield frost DK actually results in doing more DPS in less amount of time during that dump phase. For two hand frost, weaving makes more sense because it makes sure that you have a more consistent supply of obliterates and you have less dead zones. Since two hand frost damage comes primarily from obliterate and that physical damage that's on it, this means that you're going to be doing more consistent damage. 
Now, you can still dump as a two-hand Frost DK, and it's not a bad idea to do, especially in PvP, if you want to secure a kill, or if you just want to pump as much damage as possible, because you're getting those obliterates back to back to back to back. This is going to do more damage in a shorter amount of time than Weaving technically would. However, it does come with diminishing returns. The longer you dump, the more of a dead zone you're going to have down the road. And that is something that is worth considering in PvP and in PvE. It's very much worth it to dump if you know that you're about to potentially kill somebody. They're in the execute range. But if you are just kind of PvEing a shaman behind a pillar and their, you know, their health isn't going down very fast, then why would you want to gimp yourself later down the road by running into a dead zone when you could aim for a more consistent DPS that's going to sustain you for much longer and then when you finally get the setup going then you can switch to a dumping rotation and then you can just hit him with big damage out of nowhere and he doesn't expect it. This is going to be much more effective for you in arena. Now dumping and weaving isn't just important for your regular rotation. It's also extremely important to your burst talents and to how you burst using those talents and what kind of results you're going to get when you run those talents. So let's go over that. First off, we have Obliteration, and this is going to be a fairly obvious one. It literally says it in the tooltip. So Obliteration gives you a killing machine proc every time you Frost Strike. This means that when you're running Obliteration and while Obliteration is active, you want to be weaving. You want to be using Obliterate, Frost Strike, Obliterate, Frost Strike. The only time that you want to change that up is if you get a Rhyme proc, since Rhyme proc will also give you a killing machine proc. So that would be Obliterate, Howling Blast, Obliterate, Frost Strike, Obliterate. So once again, that weaving strategy is built into Obliteration and it's done so for that reason. Bliter Blizzard understands that for two hand frost DKs to ensure that you don't hit those dead zones, it's very important that you weave when you need to be weaving. And so it makes sense now why Obliteration would have been designed the way that it was. Next up, we have Breathless and Dragosa. Breathless and Dragosa is the exact opposite of Obliteration. Breathless and Dragosa plays into the dumping playstyle. This is where you build up all of your runic power and then you dump it all at once. Breathless and Dragosa takes the place as how you dump your runic power. So essentially what you do here, once again, kind of obvious, is you build up your runic power up to about 90 so you don't accidentally go over and waste runic power. And then you pop your Breathless and Dragosa and you use Breathless and Dragosa as your only runic power spending ability until Breathless and Dragosa is up. For myself, I personally don't Death Strike and I won't use Breathless and Dragosa if I know that I'm gonna need to Death Strike soon. Like if I'm starting to get low on HP, I won't use it. It's gonna be a waste. I'm gonna have to Death Strike or I'm gonna have to Lichborn heal and that takes a lot of runic power. So I will make sure that I have good HP going into it. I have a full bar of runic power. And then while Breathless and Dragosa is active, I won't even use a Rhyme proc unless I have no other runes or obliterate because the reality is rhyme doesn't generate any runic power so if you spend a global cooldown in the middle of your breast and dragosa on a rhyme when you could have spent that global on an obliterate then you're losing runic power that means you're losing uptime on breath and dragosa that means you're losing damage so i do use my rhyme procs in breath and dragosa but only if I have no other runes to spend on either an Obliterate for more runic power or even a Chains of Ice for more runic power. As for Ice Cap, dumping or runic weaving doesn't really make a difference since it scales off of killing machine procs and natural crits. So Ice Cap doesn't really get affected by which way you decide to play. So what does this all mean? It means it's really important to think about how you're actually performing your rotation dependent on what talents you're using and even what weapons you're using. This is going to determine how smooth your character plays and how much damage you're capable of putting out. Dumping is great for pumping a lot of damage quickly and is great for securing those kills in PvP. However, it does come with a cost later down the road when you hit a dead zone. This is why dumping works typically a little better with dual wield since they have less dead zones and they focus more on that frost damage once again so they get an even bigger benefit from this than two hand does weaving is great for consistency it's great for when you're just kind of pveing things you're doing that raid boss you're you're hitting on that shaman who's got all their cooldowns and they're not dying anytime soon you know it's great for those kinds of situations where you want to keep the constant pressure high 
then whenever the time comes that it's time to secure that kill, two hand or dual wield, you swap to that dumping thing and you body that shammer. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and let me know what your thoughts are. Don't forget that I stream every Friday night at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time at, over on Twitch, link down in the description down below. Hope I see some of you guys over there. Please remember to hit that like button, it helps tremendously with the algorithm, and hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this from me. Also, ring that bell notification if you want to get notified so you never miss a thing. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.